It was brought to my attention by my good friend British Widow that Mojang released some final details about this year's Minecraft live event that has some information about the tough golem that we haven't yet been introduced to. According to the details Mojang posted in this blog post on the 13th, the tough golem is of course a mob that we built, but as it says in the details, and place wherever you want. Not only that, but it also says you can stack them as well. Furthermore, it also says that the tough golem is able to wake up and move around, though it will always return to its original spot when placed. For me, there are a few gray areas here where I feel like we're missing some important information. For instance, if we are able to stack them on top of each other, let's say we make a tower of tough golems that are five tough golems tall. Firstly, if the center one moves, that might look a bit weird if it just leaves the other four hanging. And secondly, the way this part is worded, the tough golem can also wake up and wander around. Does this mean can? As in might happen, or as in if you want it to, it can. Basically, is it in our control or not? And finally, when it says the tough golem is a statue mob that you can build and place wherever you want, does that mean we craft it in our crafting tables and then place it, or do we craft it using normal golem crafting methods? I feel like there's a lot of gray area here when it comes to the tough golem, which for me makes it still really hard to get me motivated to vote for it. Not only that, this information is only out now, well, one day ago from recording this video, essentially one day prior to the mob vote. This information about the tough golem is nowhere else to be found. Ideally, we should have known this from day one when the tough golem were introduced. Now, to be fair to Mojang, they did release this information prior to the voting even beginning, and maybe it was just a hiccup on their end that they didn't provide this information from the start. Either way, it still doesn't change my opinion on which mob is the best to vote for. The sniffer, in my opinion, still has a lot more potential and already promised features to bring to the game. This news about the tough golem doesn't really change anything there. If you want to see my full video on why I think the sniffer will win the vote, you can check out that video down below in the description. And while you're down there, leaving a like on this video would support the channel a ton. And if you're new, I'll be making more videos on 1.20, so get subscribed so you don't miss it. But with that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, have a wonderful day and weekend. And goodbye.